Ugh. Big day today, man. Big day today. Presumably. I, I don't actually know. Look, look. All I've really been told is we're doing better at trauma at seven. My time. I don't know what the fuck is happening in it. I don't know who I'm playing with. I don't, I don't know. All I know is at some point at seven, I'm playing bearer of trauma. Why that's all I know, I don't know either. But that's all I know. I don't know if we're using in-game VoIP. I don't know if we're using a Discord channel that I don't have access to. I don't know. No one knows. So we're kind of just freestyling it. But I do have a collection of uh, various horror games to pass the time until seven. We got three hours. We have three hours. And then at that point, um, I don't think we're using mods, but I have to account for everything. So I had to like fucking grab my, I, 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 I'm assuming we're gonna use the God awful in-game VoIP for bearer trauma today. So I had to go grab my equally God awful microphone. And plug it in. There's skill trees now. None of it. Look. Okay, here's the problem with Barrow Trauma. I love Barrow Trauma, and it's a very good game. But Barrow Trauma, there's only two modes in Barrow Trauma. There's everyone's trying to play, or most people are trying to play, and most people, and the other half are trying to goof. I have no idea who we're playing with, so I don't know what I'm going in for right now. I have no idea. I have zero clue. But um, I would appreciate it if everyone would stop spoiling stuff from the new patches to me, because I didn't ask. I don't know who asked, but it wasn't me, dude. It wasn't me, dude. I don't remember asking. It's like people are like all caps adding me about what characters can do now. I just, I didn't ask. So, you know, keep that in mind. I haven't played Barrow Trauma in like a year and a half. I'd like to uh, be surprised. Thanks for understanding. Well, yeah, first game we're gonna play nights, uh, Featuring this this baby, this lad, this this uh, honestly kind of kind of wigging me out already from the screenshot kind of baby. There are a lot. There 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 are a whole situation. But um, we'll start with that. Then I got some other games of varying quality, as always. Uh, then, right before Barrow Trauma, either I'll go in and redo the tutorial of Barrow Trauma since it truly has been a while. I still feel like I'm pretty confident, especially in my medical capabilities on a station. But um, we might we might refresh ourselves a little bit, or I'll play uh, Hidden Deep, the objectively crustier version of Barrow Trauma uh, that doesn't take place in a submarine for a little bit, since I haven't checked that out since um since it was in like open uh testing so lots going on today lots going on today which is good because tomorrow i don't fucking stream my guy you get me one day and one day only and then i'm gone chat i was late when is barrow trauma can you read my guy <laughs> <laughs> I know, I've had people in the goddamn chat tell me that sell, people on mobile can see the title. I, I know you can. What's the point? Why, why do I put the effort in, bro? <laughs> why? I should make it all secrets. It's okay, but uh, yes, if there's something that's actively happening at a time after the start time of my stream, I always put it in the title. Rest assured, 
It's always there. Anytime I've ever started early and there's something else going on later in the day, I have the time. Always. I, I got you. I got you. Hope it all works out. I have no... Look, dude. I, I don't know what the fuck is happening with Barrow Trauma. There's a solid chance I'm going to show up to Barrow Trauma and everyone else is going to be like, why are you here? You, you, we didn't invite you here. And then I'll just be asked to leave. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going... Kraken said I was in and I was joining, but like... I'm not in like the planning thing for this. That or there isn't one. So I don't, I don't even know who I'm playing with. Social anxiety nightmare. It's all people I know. It's just like, I'm, I'm very inactive in the discords nowadays. So it makes sense. I wouldn't be in any of the planning rooms because, um, last time I was in one of those, someone posted, uh, someone posted VR imagery that was, uh, was baffling and shocking. And then I, I muted all the channels forever. I never went back ever again so it makes sense this is a, this is this is lack of communication by my design <laughs> it's by my design tomato is in his hermit phase after untold vr horrors usually people if they need to contact me message me uh not many people that's, that's how it's usually been and how it remains. There's not going to be a problem later on today. Although if someone were to ask who are you playing with, I truly will shrug. I All I know is I'm playing with Kraken. I have no idea beyond him who's in the group. He said there's six of us, including me and him. Sure, I could have asked him multiple times for details, but that's not my deal. I prefer to wait till the last second, then realize I know nothing about what's going on. So I'm assuming ninjas there. I'm going to as I'm going to be disappointed if anyone other than ninja is there. For starters, where is the aged shinobi? Where's the aged shinobi? <laughs> Big eyes? Yeah, that baby kind of has freaky eyes. I'm down to play with anyone in Barrow Trauma, though. It's just rare that I don't know. It's rare that I am completely hands off of planning in this way. Usually I'm the person that's like, okay, let me put this together. Let me, let me be the guy. So it's, well, it's rare that I'm, I, I'm so hands off. Hey, tomato, did the poppy playtime part two VOD not make it to YouTube for any specific reason? To my knowledge, there's no reason why it shouldn't be uploaded. Uh, if it's not there, I'll message Brett. Because it should be. Although it's been two months, so... Uh, if it's gone on the YouTube channel, it's gone on my Twitch, and no one noticed till now, it may just be gone. Definitely may just be gone. Or it might be sitting unlisted. Here's the thing, Brett, every time a, a Twitch stream happens, he saves it as a highlight that's unpublished on Twitch. So it's likely saved as a highlight on Twitch right now, and I can check it. Uh, and at least then I can tell you that it does exist, even if it's not uploaded anywhere right now. Let me check. Let me check. Let's see here. Highlight. Okay. 
Rewind 10,000 fucking miles. Mm, a little too far. Ah. Uh, can someone tell me what was next to that stream? Does anyone remember what I did near that stream? Oh, I found it. Yeah, it saved. It just wasn't, uh... I think there was some editing that needed to be done on it. I think I wanted the intro removed and maybe it got slipped through because of that. Because I think the intro was mostly people complaining about the devs and their scene and I didn't feel like including that. It'll be up at some point if it's not there. I will, I will let Brett know. But thanks for letting me know, because sometimes stuff just does fall through the cracks. What's chat making a scene about? What's wrong? Because if the mods did something, there's no need to make it like a, a thing. Whomever was banned was likely banned for a reason. And you whining about it will not help or change anything. Truly. Remember that. <sighs> yeah. What the fuck? Dude, there's been I've been having a spider situation the last couple days. I don't know why. I've I swear I've never had this many spiders in my office truly walking to the middle of the room. And then sending us like a string down, like they they really are just mid like mid room floating in midair, trying to like get me to walk into them, like they're hanging out in the middle of the room. They're issuing a challenge. I hang on. There, I won. Look, I have some rules for spiders in my room. And it's super simple. Keep your fucking shit out of spaces where I can accidentally, like, walk into you. And if they're going to be in a spot where I have to walk by them to leave, and possibly, like, walk right through them, and then they're on my face and on my head, I'm gonna fucking kill them. They're dead. They'll die. Stay in your goddamn lane. Would you say that about a person? If some random bastard was in my house for no reason, but also for some reason I couldn't get them to leave, but yet they continued to get in my way while I worked, yes, I would smack them and get them the fuck out. Who is this? This person is not real. What are they doing? Get the fuck out of here. First of all, I don't know why I didn't call the cops on you before, but get out now. Why are you here? Didn't Markiplier already play this game? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Any other tubers play this one that I should know about? Since this game's been out for two years, you can go ahead and list them for me. Let me guess. Let me take a wild fucking guess who's already treaded these grounds. Let me, riddle me this, how many famous streamers and YouTubers have played this one and reacted to it? You are too late streamer, Jack done dis. Uh, 
Anyone else? The Yogg's Kest. I'll hang on, I'll message Sam and ask him. I, I'm gonna have to go straight to the source, baby. We're going, we're going straight to the source on this one, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna, I'm gonna ask him, he'd know. Not being Markiplier makes Tomato be in a perpetual state of Joker moments. Chat, it's just, look, not when, when is it my time, you know, to be the one that everyone says, Diddy can't, you literally can't play this one. <laughs> Tomato Gaming already did it, dude. I'll never have it. I'll never have it. You have Fortnite. Wrong person, motherfucker. You want the stream next door, asshole. You have never dead. What the fuck is never dead? It, you mean that? You mean that? Oh my fucking god, never dead? I remember playing that you. Oh my. No, yeah, that one officially, I'm the only one that's. I'm the only streamer that played that one. All right, I'll give you that much. Because no one else would ever play that. You're famous. It's yours. That video did awful. <laughs> that video did awful because it sucked and no one gives two shits about never dead. Okay. And it deserved it. <laughs> Pathetic. You have the clip of you flinging children in VR. Yeah, that moment's gone though. I'm over that. I'm over that, dude. It's officially old. It's old news. 4.1 million views on Twitter. Yeah, right. I wipe my ass with that now. Honestly, though, the worst part is that even though I pressed the mute conversation button on it, quite literally the day I uploaded it, because I it, it, look that was that, that was that was free viral. Okay, I, I'm not a moron. I knew going in that that would get a million billion fucking views because it's a five second video with zero con like zero dialogue and zero investment required to get to the punchline. I fucking knew it a mile away, which is why I muted it, and it still ruined my Twitter. Completely. I haven't logged on it since. <laughs> it's it still ruined everything. I'm not complaining. It's just like I was really banking on the mute conversation button working. <laughs> I, he hates the clout. Dude, viral Twitter videos do not equal clout. Let me be clear. They don't equal clout. They equal nothing. I'm not, I'm not complaining, okay, but ever, anyone can get, like, a tweet with a billion trillion fucking follows, and then you'll see the fucking tweet beneath that tweet that says, follow my fucking SoundCloud, bro, and that gets nothing. That gets, like, one like. That gets nothing, because that's how Twitter works. <laughs> that's, how, that's how Twitter works. Bro, oh, please. Did you link your Instagram though? True. It was just it was just shocking because uh, you know when people were watching that clip they said that was really funny. Uh, fucking throw bed bananas <laughs> and I fucking snapped. I lost it. Good one, Buck. Good fucking throw.
I will be honest though. When that tweet got to like a like a million fucking views, I was like, I did click on Twitter monetization to see if there was any way I could cash out on it. <laughs> I I didn't fucking hesitate for a second to be like, can I fucking cash out? Like, can I get some cash out of this? Like anything? How much can I pull out of this? And apparently that doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, but I will let, let it be known. I was willing to cash out on Twitter. Imagine being an artist or a musician for years and the thing that suddenly blows up is a meme you made in 10 seconds. Uh, you see what I should do, although it's too late, and by even saying it out loud, you know it's already up there. I should have posted that fucking clip on TikTok. That would have been, that would have been the spot to do it. But uh, it's too late. There, it's probably, there's probably 80,000 different versions of it at this point. It's probably been hijacked and taken a thousand times. With my voice replaced, I didn't talk in it, dude. That's why, that is exactly why it ended up being popular. It was a five second joke that had zero buildup. You could click on it with it muted and be like, ha, 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 yes, I get it. The second you talk, everything goes wrong on Twitter. Trust me. The shorter, the better. That's why I didn't post the, uh, get mom, it's bad fireworks thing on Twitter, because that's a minute of buildup. It's basically dead in the water because it takes a minute to, it takes 30 seconds to be funny. It literally requires 30 seconds just for it to start being funny. Although that is one of my favorite clips I've had on the channel in fucking years, the uh, fireworks thing, because of the fact that it just ramps up so well. That to the point where my motions and the way I run away almost look like pre, like scripted and pre-planned with the shakes. But, yeah. That's acting, baby. Yeah, that's acting, baby. You are a gold mine of funny moments, just a genuinely great entertainer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, chat, everyone leave them alone. Don't you dare say I paid them to say that. That was just a nice thing someone just said to me. But I will let you know, person who said that nice thing that I would have paid you for it if you had asked before saying the message. Now it is too late. Now you've missed your chance. It's over. Did it for free. Never do anything for free. All right. Thomas R. Matt, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, there's a lot of good clips from the Skyrim VOD. I think that VOD is definitely better in like watching all the clips of it form than watching it as one solid viewing because VR is, I think, naturally. Unless a game has built in stabilization, even I struggle to watch VR long form on a stream because it's so shaky. Even I know that, but the clips of it were all very good. What happened to Handsome yesterday? I deleted the VOD because I didn't think it was necessary to keep up. A lot of people operate in this assumption that VODs are 
Like that there has to be a controversial reason for me to delete a VOD. Sometimes I just feel like it doesn't need to be on the channel. Um, these are all representative of me and my work. And when one is total beans and I walk away from it knowing that it was going to be pretty bad from the start and I kind of did it as a goof, the intro still exists. I saved the intro in the highlights. You can find that on the Twitch channel right now. I didn't delete the intro. That's still here. But I don't need to leave everything up, you know? So sometimes stuff gets deleted. Well, ideally, I don't delete much, and I think, to be fair, people are very unfair with how much they think I delete things. Uh, I delete one thing, and people assume that I delete everything, and they go, you're not gonna delete this VOD too, are you, buddy? Because I delete one maybe every two months. And it's like, damn, dude, like, I deleted one. Just remember, usually if something got deleted, it was for a reason. And while yes, I'm sure many of you would be happy to watch anything I upload, much like you'd be happy to watch me just sit on a chair and look at a wall without talking for 30 minutes, my actual standards for what I believe you would want to watch are higher. And for the most part, you should interpret that as a good thing. <laughs> because I don't think it's good enough for you. rather than a bad thing where I am an asshole for deleting stuff that I made for free. You know? Just remember that, because sometimes I have to see the mods defending me in Discord and stuff, and I feel like that's a lot of extra work they shouldn't have to do. I don't know why people keep making it a big deal. Wait, this is free? How many subs you gifted, Copnor? 0.5? I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> I don't know what to tell- Yes, it's always been free. But honestly, you're in too deep now. Wait, what? Yeah. It's always been free. Wait, then who's charging my mom's credit card? Ah, oh, you know. Not me, Legally, not me. Legally, not me. <laughs> Bullshit. Everyone knows it costs money. Bullshit! Prove it! Vitamin K, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks. Very kind. I still haven't set up the new mixer because, um... I've realized it's sort of difficult to export all of the settings built into the mixer for my audio mixing. So I need to like take pictures of it all and do it all one to one. So we do still have the funny sound ah! for now, not for long, but for now. Again, you don't just get it that easy. All right. Could take a lot more than that. This is a real long setup for baiting the funny sound. All right, this guy just got the funny sound band. Terrican, thanks for the five digit subs. I'd play the funny sound, but it's over. That guy, that guy just ruined it for everyone. We're never seeing it again. My crippling social anxiety. Thanks for the uh, gifting. 10 tier 3 gifted subs. They always accidentally press the tier 3 button, and you know what? I appreciate it. Thanks. Damn. So fucking kind. How many is that at this point? How many subs have you actually gifted? Because I have to operate on the assumption the majority of them were $25 each. Two 
260. Fucking hell. That's an awful lot. That's, frankly, too much. But hey, stuff like that is what directly postpones me uh, enabling ad incentives and fucking spamming a five minute ad before every single gameplay session on this stream. So think about it on the bright side. That's very kind of you. You're prologuing the time it takes before I snap. Ad incentive program, Omega Law. Twitch is getting awfully persuasive, is all I'm <laughs> Ubu, thanks for the five gifted subs. Twitch is getting pretty persuasive on my end. I don't know about other streamers, but Twitch has been pretty persuasive for a while on my end regarding, uh, regarding ads. I haven't done it yet. I would not want, I don't really want to. But, um... Frankly, at the end of the day, as my as my cost of living changes and I begin the process of properly moving in a uh, post-COVID world where houses cost exactly 30% uh, more than they used to, slowly blinks with both of his eyes and sighs, um, I would definitely rather do the ad thing than do sponsorships. And, and I've thought about that quite a bit. Um, I don't want to do sponsorships on my channel. I don't think uh, that's something I'm interested in at all. I don't want to make content selling a product. But uh, everything else is on the table, I think, in the long term. Including merch, which is something I still need to look into. Alpaca Stud Muffin, thanks for the 20 gifted subscriptions to the channel. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. It's just a shame the ad incentive program works off their scheduler. Yeah, that's the thing that keeps wigging me out is that like the ad incentive thing is like, hey, uh, you have to stream exactly this much time. You have to stream. You gotta get this many ads in. And it's like, hi, sometimes I, I don't have like, I have a schedule, but I don't have a schedule within a schedule you know what i mean some days i do a two hour stream other days i do a four hour other days i do a seven hour that those ad incentive things are designed for people that are doing eight hour streams every day five days a week which is not me and will never be me i physically can't do it <laughs> i'm weak i would say physically in the in the realm of streamers that have that can do streams for long periods of time i'm one of the weakest <laughs> <laughs> a seven me thinking that i have to do a seven hour stream today gave me actual nausea last night thinking about it i thought about it and i was like oh god <laughs> mother of god honestly sam i don't know how he fucking does it but I mean, everyone has a different dynamic for how they handle commentation and like actual streaming. I am very mobile and active behind this mic without a camera. You don't know that, but I tire myself out. I do a lot of moving, <laughs> even though you can't see it. I'm, I'm running around, I'm punching things. I'm, I'm pumping weights, anything to get, get that blood pumping. Just flailing my arms wildly. Like I'm playing Beat Saber, but without a VR headset and without music. Just my arms are always flailing as I talk. For no reason. Yeah, there's no reason. Streaming from a Steam Deck. Dude, I'm getting kind of pissed off at Steam Deck, dude. I, I bought mine by accident. <laughs> I purchased mine by accident a year and a half ago when it launched after audibly dumping on it on stream. Somehow I got drunk and bought one anyways, which I don't remember. <laughs> but I do know I bought it early enough in the cycle that I should be getting mine. 
and now that everyone else has one, I do want one. Where is it? I bought it already. I own it. Where did it go? Did I have to like press a confirm I really, really want to buy it? Because I honestly, I just want to play. Dude, you want to know it's fucking stupid? And uh, Sam said this, and it kind of pissed me the fuck off and actually made me angry. He said, bro, I can't wait to get my Steam Deck so I can play Monster Hunter Rise while not near my PC. And my brain started to, to deflate, and I started to feel actual stomach pains. Because, uh, bud, we were already able to do that before you made me replay the whole game on PC! It's called a Nintendo Switch, motherfucker! It's been here for since 2019! It's been here! It's been around, my guy! It's just like, I get that there's a difference between these things, but I was just like, bro, <laughs> somehow we've gone back. How did we get back here? How did we get? And the worst part is I was thinking about doing that too when mine shows up. So it was like, but when I realized that and I connected those dots, it made me feel bad. And I was like, maybe I can't play it for that just because, just because it would make me feel bad to think about it. Imagine owning a Steam Deck now. It's just like one more fucking console to have horrible shortages, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I feel like everyone needs to just stop making consoles and things for a while, if I'm going to be honest, because it seems like there's not enough parts. PS5 deck when? <laughs> I don't know. Like, this is truly becoming the console generation of no one owns. The fact that I, when they announced like the release date for the new God of War, I saw many people going, I don't know if I'll own a PS5 by then, Sony. Hey, Sony, I am worried that in a year, I still won't be able to play this. Are they putting it on PS4 or is it just PS5? Because I saw a lot of people that were like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a PS5 before this happens. Both. That's wise of Sony. Honestly, that's pro that's the thing that's going to fuck up this like generation, like the PS5 generation is the fact that Sony has this hardware that they can't get to consumers. And thus, every game they make has to work on both uh, PS5 and PS4, because if they make it only PS5, people are going to get fucking mad, and it's not going to sell any fucking copies because there's no, no one owns the console, even now. Even now. That's a really wild thing. That's like an unprecedented problem to have in this industry is like a year, like truly two years after the console came out, still there's a shortage and people can't get them. That's wacky. But scalpers own hundreds of them. Yeah, I mean, like I, I would never ever buy from a scalper, even if I was desperate. Um, so I hope those scalp, I, I hope everyone's kind of in the same boat and those scalpers are sitting on a lot of product they'll never sell. Um, until it basically becomes garbage in their very homes. But we both, we both know that there are people that will buy it because they're desperate and they'll sell eventually, just not as fast. I refuse to go to a scalper. I... When PS5's first launched, I considered it for like a half second. I only have a PS5 because I got super lucky and opened Amazon like the second they renewed stock and got mine literally from Amazon. Like I didn't use like some random fucking distributor. I bought it like from Amazon on Prime because I just like so happened to log in at the exact same time. So that was a lucky break for me, but it's like, 
I don't know. There's barely even any reason to own one, still, to be honest. With the amount of time it's taken to get a PS5, might as well just get a more functioning PC. At least there's more stuff on it. PS5 Demon Souls stream when? Nah, bro. Next Souls thing I'm gonna stream is Nightfall whenever they actually up, like, put it out on Dark Souls 1. That'll be the next Souls thing I do. Whenever they uh, actually upload that mod. Until then, never. Nightfire. Bro, I fucking wish, dude. I fucking wish. I wish it was goddamn James Bond Nightfire. I wish. Problem is, in order, I've actually considered streaming Nightfire, but the problem is, you can't play the PC version because the PC version is a fake version. It's like a shitty PC remake port thing that's not actually the real game. So you have to play on consoles using an emulator. Problem is, it's really annoying to emulate the PS2 version, so you have to emulate the GameCube version. And the problem is, I don't... Look. All right. Nintendo are fucking total buffoons. And their controller for the GameCube truly doesn't make sense to me. And trying to bind it to any other controller in the world is straight up fucking baffling to me. I don't, I hate, I hate GameCube. I hate their goddamn controller. It's awful. It's awful. Fuck you. Take that back. You guys only adore the GameCube controller because you had to use it. Okay? If the GameCube controller was so good, why did Nintendo fucking give it up for a Wiimote? Motherfucker. Nintendo hasn't known how to make a controller ever in their entire lives. Okay? They, they change it every time because they are not confident in their control. They The best one they've made so far is the fucking Switch Pro, okay? Which coincidentally is a direct ripoff of the format of an Xbox controller because that's the best controller out there. Okay, I'm a Sony guy. I played a lot more PS2 than I did Xbox. And it's impossible to deny that the Xbox controller is the best controller. This is the worst take. Go back to your Wii U remote control tablet, motherfucker. Yeah, go go back to that. Go ahead and scamper off. This guy has bad taste. Wii U tablet, you mean a Steam Deck? You mean a Nintendo Switch? You mean a Switch Pro? <laughs> you, mean, you mean Nintendo Switch Pro? Where is the Switch Pro already? Dude, who fucking cares? All right, like, ugh. Nintendo can't make any. If Nintendo were to do that, they would finally be caught up to the fucking, you know, competition when it comes to even a single factor of tech. And you know they can't do that. You know they're scared to. It's easier to be Nintendo and make it impossible to compare them to anyone else because they're so far behind the pack, okay, than it is to ever get yourself in a position where you can be compared to your competitors. Okay? They'll never do it. Give it up. Now. Sega console soon. Oh my god. Holy shit, you just really said that. Bro! Sega Saturn! It's 
It's... It's still gonna... I swear it's gonna come back, bro! The Saturn, dude! It's happening! I miss Sega. No, you fucking don't. <laughs> no, you fucking don't. No one misses Sega, dude. No one. I'm old, I do. <laughs> bro! Power Glove, bro! I feel like, I truly feel like a gamer now. Sega, you mean the Yakuza publisher? <laughs> Oof. Look, when you got one good thing, that's not that's not anyone's fault but your own, you know. Sega Sega should work on making better other games. I had a power glove when they first came out. That thing was a piece of shit. <gasps> How could you say that about that? How could you say that? What the fuck is your problem? But, but did you ever think about this, asshole? You not only got a mediocre gameplay controller for your Sega, you also got a glove to wear, which was likely factored in. You got a cool glove to wear on one of your hands. I don't think you factored that in. I think you only thought about the gameplay and you didn't think about like how you could wear it everywhere. You know what you can't do with like a PS4 controller? You like wear it as clothes in your day-to-day -day life. You 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 bozo. You got a pip boy on the house, basically. Thanos owns a power glove. Come on, guy. True. You know what, man? When you write, you write. PS6 will have a glove controller. I fucking wish, dude. I just want to take my gaming on the go. I, I, I want to take my gaming on the go. Just like a Switch. You know? I want to fully immerse myself in augmented reality. By any means necessary. And if someone wants to tear me out of aug like AR, you're going to have to do it kicking and... I'm going to be kicking and screaming. Me biting and thrashing. Okay, tangled in wires. So, like in Wally, -E, yeah. I'm gonna have a big backpack with my VR battery. The outputs extremely unsafe amounts of electro like magnetic fields that probably will kill me over time. But that's whatever. Someone, I picked my nose with the power glove one time and got borged. Bro. Oh. <laughs> Bro. You good, man? <laughs> Askers, sometimes people need to tell people things, Chet. All right? You don't have to ask. Not everything needs to be asked. Okay. Sometimes it's important you know. Some things need to be told even if you didn't ask, man! But in this case, askers, anyone? In this case, ask anyone ask? Because I didn't.
I didn't, but I'm glad I know. Yeah. All right, Chad, here's the deal. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then I'm gonna start this first game. This game is cursed, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. But we have a couple. We have a couple games. One of them I can confirm will open VR because of course it fucking will. Uh, there's a game every time we do a variety horror night that does open fucking VR for some reason. Uh, because devs don't know how to untick the fucking button that says the game is a VR game. How? I don't know. But. It's wild. Roblox does this too. Dude, if I turn on Roblox and VR activates, bud, I'm not gonna think, oh my god, why is it accidentally opening VR? I'm going to full body sprint to my headset so I can immerse myself in the Roblox zone. Okay, I'm going to assume Roblox has finally reached a level where I'm ready to fully submerge myself into the Roblox and leave my human body behind. Okay. <laughs> the good ending. I can finally get the good ending to my story. All right, I'll be right back. All right, all right. It's time. You know, it's just a normal day babysitting. Babysitting a, a wee lad. A, a wee lad, chat. I don't see the... audio output for this fucking game right now, which is weird. Did the fucking audio break? Oh no, not again. Why? Hello? Hang on. Let me check why this is happening. Ah, I see. There we go. There it is. Fixed it. For some reason, the microphone that I use for most in-game VoIP stuff is, um, has a speaker. And I don't know what the, f how the, I'm looking at this tiny thing. I can't find a speaker anywhere. I don't know where that is. Okay, so. Hang on. All right, so the first game we're playing tonight is called uh, The Baby in Yellow. Game about babysitting. We love this. All right. Uh, well, little guy, um, <clears throat> here we are on night one. Your parents have left me in charge. Do you understand, you freaky fucking thing? And I would doctor's gift locked for 11 more souls. You know anything about this? You creepy fucking thing. All right, well, look, here's, listen here. All right, listen here. I don't give two dams what you think you're gonna do tonight. Here's what you're gonna do. 
You're gonna get fed. You're gonna brush your teeth, and then you're gonna go to sleep. Okay? Hang on, can I leave? Like I'm trapped on this floor. All right, kid, I'm back. Turns out I have to babysit you. Lucky you. I'm one of the best babysitters on the market. Your parents paid big dollars. All right, for me. So we'll get your bottle. And then we're going to read about the mysteries of the hyades. Teach you something for once. What is this? That little that thing just say run to me. All right. Oh well, I'm gonna swing on over to the kitchen and um, get you your bottle. You got something new, I kid? What the hell was that? I saw some, uh, some darkness in his eyes right there. Hang on, I'm just gonna... Go ahead. Just so I don't miss it if it happens again. All right, you freaky little bastard. No more eye stuff! Now I'm gonna see it! All right, a mile away, I'm gonna fucking see it! Now hang on, I gotta get you a large bottle for that huge fucking head of yours. What the hell is it? Did you eat dinner yet? I don't like the big head. <laughs> what? Buzz buzz. All right. No, 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 no. We're going to leave him normal. And we're going to turn off the big head. Okay. Where the hell is it? Take an egg. No, let's just... Nice fucking fridge. All right, kid. I got your bottle. Here you go. <laughs> they shit their pants. You immediately shit your pants when I did that. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Let's just get you. Let's just get you somewhere to get you changed, kid. No, don't fucking. They're fine. I, uh. They're on the mat, although they have fallen. Uh, I just gotta get him a nappy. All right, kid, I... Good. That's the eighth one this week, dude. I can't have this happen again. Kid! Kid, are you in there? Where are you? All right. Evidently, evidently, you like scampering. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. You're a bit mobile. That's all right. Don't do it again. Wait, well, you're right there. Okay. <laughs> all changed. Time to go to sleep. Do you need to go to the bathroom? I guess you probably wouldn't because you are wearing a diaper. That does make sense. They also closed the toilet for me. You wait here. You, 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 you fucking watch some TV for a minute, alright kid? You watch some TV. Okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I can hate this kid. <laughs> this kid does it. They, 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 they freak me out. All right. Freak me out. I don't like them. 
vampire babysitter. Uh, you'd have to have supernatural powers to deal with a baby this obnoxious. Look at them. Hate them. Okay. All right, kid. So, uh, anyways. Um. There you go. I'm going to sleep. Yeah, I don't know why their parents never showed up to pick them up. This isn't their house. This is my room. <laughs> this is my room. I can't afford a larger bed than this. I'm uh, I I live off the wages of a uh, a babysitter. I can't afford a larger bed. Did that say free souls? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been finding those around my house. It's like an infestation. Yep. Uh, it's not story time yet. You think that baby's dead? <laughs> you think that if I go outside, they're gonna be there? All right, kid. Uh <laughs> Uh, that was a fun little little prank I was playing on you, but uh, let's get you uh, let's get you to bed now. Uh -huh. Come on, let's let's get you to bed. All right, and here we go. <laughs> there we go. Find the storybook and sit down. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Are they sad? What? Why are you get? What is that look, dude? All right, which one of these books do you want to read? Crans? You want to read about Crans through the ages, or do you want to read about the prince and the cat? Let's read this one. The prince and the cat. God, that cat looks creepy. Um. <clears throat> Across the shore, in distant lands, with dark stars overhead, the prince was fast asleep until a cat jumped on his bed. I found a secret garden, said the cat with much delight. Excitedly, they ran outside, explorers in the night. They walked through the golden garden gate. Look at the pretty trees. They walked along the pretty pebble path. Look at the colorful flowers. They walked past the fabulous flowing fountain. Look at the dancing water. Look, look, look. Wow. But the prince didn't like the garden and started kicking down the trees. He dug up flowers, grabbed the hedges and pulled off all the leaves. He ruined everything for fun. The cat watched on in fear. What a mistake I made, the cat cried out. I should never have brought him here. And that's the whole story, kid. Yeah, fast asleep. Fast asleep. That's the whole thing. There is no more. That was it. Now that he's asleep, I can mess around with his stuff. Can't believe I immediately picked up the ad item. I can't believe that's the first one I picked up was the ad. I like this one the most because it looks the most sad. This one looks like it's truly about to cry. Well, I'm gonna trash the room uh, before I go, and then let's get to, let's get the fuck out of here. Rest easy, child. I hopefully will never come back. Have a good life. This is requires matching key. Oh, hide. What is this? Snow. A curiosity in July. Huh? Night fell the first day, and the hours dragged on. I think I actively missed Still lore. Cared for the child. Oh no 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 yeah it's just like okay. We spoke of Haster and Casilda in their absence. 
while outside the fog rolled in as the cloud waves roll and break on the walls. I see, I see. Oh, the sin of such innocent eyes. Clear as crystal, understood by the ignorant and wise alike. More precious than jewels, more soothing than music, more awful than death. Oh, cool. All right. This is a mistake. I shouldn't be doing this. Uh, I shouldn't be snooping around this person's house. I should really be watching TV right now on the sofa, not the whatever this is. Oh, it's a cat! Hello. What? Oh, it was an ad for another game. I mean, hey, I'm interested in anything these devs make right now. This is very polished, but, um... I've been running into a lot of ads in these moments. This game is free, so that's okay. But I think I've been randomly running into all of them, back to back. Hopefully that's the last one, so I can get into it. Well, the child is asleep. I'm going to go do my thing and watch television. Okay. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill out. Take it easy. Oh, what? Shut the fuck up! All right, all right, that's it. All right, fine, all right, fine. Where are you? What? Where the... Maybe? Where the hell did you? Maybe? Maybe? Calm down. Everything's gonna be alright. But unfortunately, if you're gonna break out of containment that easily, I gotta put you somewhere where it's hard to Oh yeah, that settles that. In you go. No, don't turn it on! Stop! Stop it! Baby! Oh! Oh my god! Elevator working. Baby? <laughs> Baby? <laughs> Baby? Baby, you're alive! And you got a big smile on your face from that fun little ride you just had. Isn't that something? I'm glad you're alive, because therefore I did nothing wrong. And you seem to be fine. Go back to bed now. <laughs> Oh. There you go. Correct. Put the correct plushie in the cot. What more do you want from me, kid? All right. Do you want the sheep one? Really? Re really? You? Really? You gotta go for another tumble inside the fucking machine. You gotta keep disrespecting the sheep like this. You want the? You want the cat? Yeah. And that's the last time you're gonna have any problems, right? Because I don't wanna tell you what's gonna happen if you keep pushing me. Okay. 
You low resolution little freak. Okay. You have a good night. Go to sleep. Now I'm gonna watch TV. Ready? <laughs> Did you just open the fucking door again? I said, it's time for you to go to sleep. Okay? Now, do you understand what that means? It means I'll close this door and you'll stay quiet for the next 30 to. F at, at least the next hour until your parents get home. Okay, after that, I don't care if you get back up. It's not my problem. I don't fucking read the goddamn fridge. Probably shouldn't leave the door open. All right, now that I got my chill out pickle, let's eat. Just turn in for a quick nap. I think this time, just turn in for a quick. Okay, night two, easy. They actually wanted the parents, I did so well. They wanted me to come back for a second night. All right, kid. How are you? Watching television, I see. This shit's gonna rot your brain. Stay by the fucking kitchen, okay? Now, what the hell do you need today? We uh, need a bottle. He did it again. They're having a good time. Okay, maybe they're not. Look, you want to hang out with me in the kitchen, kid? All right, you stay right there. Where's your bottle? Is it... Did you just slam that on me? You just... Did you just slam that on me, kid? Let's all just stay calm. Hang out by the cookies. Just like that. Okay. While I look for your bottle. Okay. I know it's in the fucking fr- Maybe it's not in the fridge. Play with this. Oh! Okay. Alright. I'm sorry. That wasn't supposed to happen. I thought you could just play with it. Uh, play with, uh, play with this, no, play with, uh, play with this pickle. No, play with this cheese. Like cheese? There you go. Have a good time. All right, I'm gonna go look for your bottle. Why's well, the door locked? Did you lock me in here? How about you play with this? Isn't that fun? That's called branding right there. <laughs> How about you play Fort? Okay, now where the fuck's that bottle? Found your bottle, kid! Man, you quick. You quick, kid. You quick. But I don't remember saying it was fucking dinner time yet. So how's it about? Play inside the garbage. They had fun with that. Alright, they're having a good time. Am I... Am I, am I this fucking evil? They, they, they are, they are a demon. No, 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 no. You just wait right there, all right, kid? Where's your bottle at? All right, here you go. Isn't that nice? Okay, now come here. Do you seriously shit your fucking pants again?
All right. You wait here. You soak for a bit. I said soak for a bit. There you go. What have I done? Baby! <gasps> We have to get to the sewage system. Be somewhere in the pipes. You gotta get down. How do I get out of here, dude? I gotta get down there. Kid! Kid! He must be somewhere in the walls. Kid, if you can hear me, bang on the walls! Kid! I gotta call their mom. This is bad. I, I should call mom. Kid? Kid! Not in the washing machine. Kid! Kid! I don't know where they are. I think, I, I think they're actually dead. Kid? 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 Oh my god! <laughs> They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. I've checked everywhere. So you made it. You made your way out of the sewer. Somehow. Still stinky. Still stinky. All right, fine. What the fuck did- Even they don't know what the fuck just happened, dude. They're fucking baffled, too. Was that you? Did you- Kid, alright. I know we've had our differences until now. But I think we can both agree something was off right there. That nappy was fucking alive, man. That thing was alive. I had little googly eyes. You stay here. I'm gonna go kill it. You stay here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna close the door. And leave you there. Completely alone. Elevated. Where do you get off trying to watch TV after what you just did? Making a scene in front of a little, a oh, little wee lad. You know how easy you'd be if you to break your fucking neck? <laughs> All right! You think you're heading? I have all the fucking cabinets pre-opened, asshole. You're not going anywhere. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna give the kid an update real quick because uh, I'm worried. I'm worried they're gonna be gone when I check the room. Yo, update the diapers uh, ransacking your room. I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna work on it. All right. I'm gonna work on it. Put the seat down so you don't fall back in the toilet. All right. Actually, you know what? It's probably safer if you're in the toilet. I can't grab you because you're already on the, the table. Uh, you, you just keep on keeping it real. All right. I'm gonna have to kill this thing. Oh, so, oh, so you... Oh, oh, so what you're doing is you're, you're, you're acting like you're me. You're acting like, oh, you're the person that reads the stories. You're the one who cooks the food. You think this is a funny joke? You think you're better than me? You're mocking me. No fucking way he did that again. <gasps> he went in the parents' room. Oh, no, I'm in big trouble. You can't go in there. Yo, you gotta come out of there. They told me not to go in there. You, bro, you gotta get out of there.
Yo, baby, just so you know, the diaper went into your parents' room. Uh, so you're gonna have to cover for me. Alright? Because, um, I don't want to get in big trouble on this one. Stay in the goddamn bathroom. Locks it from the outside. Alright, asshole. Just you and me now. Wow, this is a nice room. Oh, hang on. Hide. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking right. You pathetic piece of shit. Seems like someone needs a wash. Seems like someone's gonna need to get dry dried off after that one, too. I knew any better. Yeah, it seems like someone needs to dry off a little bit. How you feeling? Maybe you should... <laughs> Maybe you should cool it for a little while. in the toy box toy box basketball train block doctor balloon or quite I'm not gonna do this without the child you know he, he deserves to have some fun too all right asshole time to change the child all right kid I dispatched the creature yep Hey, you know what I just got access to, though, kid? The toy box. <laughs> How'd you do that? Well, you know what? That works, because you know what I was about to say? I just got access to the toy box. How about we have some fun with some toys? Now, you sit right here. Okay, I'm going to get some toys out. We're going to have some fun. It's the basketball. How do you, about, about, you feel about playing some hoops? Huh? All right, now, I'm going to... All right, kid, so here's what we're going to do. You're gonna play defense, all right? You're gonna play defense right there. I'm gonna try to fucking score a three-pointer, and you're gonna try and knock it out of the air, all right? Huh. Kid, move your fucking hands! That was the warm-up! Let me try that again. All right, get your hands up. Like that, keep them up. Now catch it and throw it back. Defense! Defense! All right, here we go. Shot! 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 I'm with this fucking thing. Oh! Get fucking destroyed! All right. What else we got here? All right, let's see what else we got. Train? How you feel about trains, kid? My trains? Alright, he's having fun with that. Uh, what else we have? Blocks? Having fun yet? See, the problem is I don't think you're having fun yet. Uh, I'm gonna put you in the blocks. Like this. Okay. Here we go again. I'm gonna build your block fort. Doing it for you. Hang on, let me just. Defense. He loves it. How's the FPS tomato? Pretty good. Alright, kid. You having fun in the block for it? Problem is, I can still see your head. I kinda hoping to not see that, so we're just gonna kinda 
cover it up. There we go. There it is. There it is. Uh, you play with the blood stripping. I'm gonna see what else we have in this thing. Uh, doctor? How do you feel about this doctor? It's not very... It's not any doctors I know. But, you like that? Did you sneeze in my fucking face? I don't care how young you are, alright? Uh, how the hell did the doctor get over to the door? We're gonna... We're gonna clean up these toys real quick. Alright, doctor. I'm gonna leave you right here on the TV. Okay. You having fun yet? Because we got balloons. Do you like balloons? Kid. Are you having fun? Check it out. It's a balloon. Look. You like rub it on your head. It, It's like static. You like balloons? Oh my god, fine, kid, fine. Play with the question mark. Is this what you wanted? Little duck? You like ducks? You like ducks and ladles? Like, how do you feel about ladles? What else we got in here? Uh, shoe, you like shoes? Like slippers? What about, um, sippy cup? Thirsty? Oh my god, you being honestly, kid, you're harshing my vibes right now. Stop that. What else we got here? Duck, slipper. Hi, kid, you wanna play with this? Play with that? Alright! If the eye of Sauron isn't even enough for you, I don't know what is. I'm taking you to bed. I mean, see, someone's just having a grumpy day today, dude. So uh, we'll just fucking take you to bed then. Now, maybe you want to play with the eye of Sauron here. Well, we're out of them, it looks like. So, uh, oh, there we go. All right, here. Here's the eye of Sauron. Ah! Hey! <laughs> Head down, curled horns, proud of playing of cry. Did I die? I fucking died. I had it coming. Let's be honest, I had it coming. I, I had, I had be, I was messing with that kid quite a bit today. I had it coming. I had it coming. Alright, uh, get bottle from fridge. Let's just do this by the books quick. God fucking damn, there you go. It's down here. Nope, it's random. Oh no. Oh no, it's fucking random. There it is. Alright, baby. You take the bottle. You, I just don't understand. Honestly, we gotta take you to a doctor, kid, because you shouldn't immediately shit your pants the second you drink any. Like, you might be lactose intolerant, kid. Okay, there goes the diaper again. I chase it over here. It runs away. It goes over here. Runs into the kitchen. Let me just do the crap. Jumps off of that. Back upstairs into the bedroom. And then I chase it around here. I run it back outside. It mocks me. No one's surprised. I chase it into the parents' room. And then it fucking kills itself. Okay. What the hell's going on in this place, anyways, by the way? Don't know what that's about. There's no emergency, so I guess I don't need that binky. I'm a kid. Yo. I'm taking you to bed. Okay, no. 
I said I'm taking you to bed. No bullshit today. I don't have time for it. Honestly, frankly, I'm kind of sick of you. Go to sleep. Story time. The prince and the rabbit. That rabbit looks kind of sad. Whoa! I just sneezed fucking hard, man. All right, let's get let's get this rabbit. Why does that rabbit look like it's about to cry? When the rabbit came to visit, the prince said, "Time to play," but his big red eyes they scared her, and she didn't want to stay. Mm -hmm. Quickly towards the exit, the tiny rabbit hopped. The prince ran right behind her and screamed, "She must be stopped!" Okay. Oh! Did you still uh, fucking slap that book right out of my goddamn hands, you ass? I don't know <laughs> if you know this, but maybe I wanted to finish that story. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish fucking reading it, and then I'll get the goddamn plushie. All right, kid. I'm, 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 I'm like two, I'm one slap away from putting you in the goddamn oven. All right. I'm one, one slap away from having an unuploadable VOD. Okay. So how's about you calm it down? The Prince and the Rabbit. Page two. Through the dark... Alright, now that we're all cool, I'm going to finish reading the fucking book. <laughs> Through dark corridors he chased her. Hop, hop, hop. A relentless, futile flight. Hop, hop, hop. Round and round inside the palace, in and out of space and sight. Hop, hop, hop. The prince, he couldn't catch her. His heart was filled with wrath. The rabbit slipped right out the door and vanished down the path. The prince cried out, I need new friends. More. Now. Another. I'll bring you some. Don't worry now, replied his loving, caring mother. And they're fast asleep, the little bastard. Snoring... Like they didn't just really seriously ruin my night. Okay. Hope you have nightmares, kid. Good night. I'm gonna chill out, smile. I feel like I deserve it. And if I'm gonna chill out, I'm gonna chill out with my favorite. The goddamn eight ball. Which, unfortunately, doesn't actually... It's just an eight ball, but it is my favorite. Toasty 4000! It's finally here! Absolutely gigantic. Now, where the hell did that rabbit go? The Toasty's fucking here, baby. The Toasty's here. Well, I'm glad the rabbit's back to sleep. All's well in the world. I'm gonna get some peace and watch some TV. For good. Night three. All right, kid. Oh. I see they're already asleep. I, I, um, I'm... Okay. <laughs> 
You gotta be fucking kidding me. They fucking started crying the second they heard a footstep downstairs. Alright. Just checking the area to make sure you didn't do anything horrible. You're not doing anything weird, are you? What? What? You've been calmed down. Now, I don't want to remind you what's going to happen if you keep on making a scene. Okay. I need you to stay calm. Because your babysitter is about to have a good time tonight messing around with the Toasty 4000. And unfortunately, your pathetic, weak baby teeth cannot handle the toasting power of the Toasty 5000. All right? They would shatter in an instant beneath the toasted power of the Toasty. So unfortunately, you're not invited. Good night. I'm gonna make a cheese toasty now. Oh yeah. I've been waiting to make a cheese toasty for weeks. Ever since I saw them order it. I'm <laughs> enjoy the fucking cheese toasty right now. Add some cheese. Add some pickle. An onion. And some, and some pickle. And a whole egg. And another egg. And another egg. And a couple more egg. Okay. Another piece of tomato. And a cheese. And a mushroom. And another mushroom. And another pickle. And a tomato. And top it off with a slice of bread, baby. Bought by some more cheese. Go! I still need to add one more. Uh, 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 what happened? Shards of a toasty in my. I think I made the toast too toasty. I got shards of toast in my fucking head. How do I fucking cook things without. I slice some bread. I... Alright, kid. I got you bread. That's pretty much all a baby should eat, anyways. Here you go. The door's locked. Well. I'll just slide it under the door. You just grab it whenever you want, kid. <sighs> there goes the cheese. I heard the baby laugh. Kid? They need their bottle. Kid? Kid, um, I don't know if you know this, but I could fucking freeze to death. You want that? Is the elevator working yet? No, of course not. Got your bottle, you fucking ingrate piece of shit! There, enjoy yourself. We both know you're evil. We both know you're a demon child, and I thought just about nothing. So that's how we're gonna play it, huh? So that's how we're gonna play. All right, all right, all right, kid. Gonna play it that way. So you handle round two in the toilet zone. Sha <laughs> sha. Damn it! <laughs> what do I? Huh? Oh. 
All right, kid. I'm gonna grab your diaper. Here. Ah! Ah! Ow! Oh! The kid pushed me. He pushed me over. Help! Ow! Ow! Okay, no, they're still hitting me. Kid, just cut! Ow! 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 Stop doing that! Stop hitting me with those things! Ow! Ow! Uh, uh, ow! Yeah. All right, kid, is this what you wanted? Where the hell are you? Where you at? Come here. There. Now he's gotta go to sleep. All right. I don't want. It. I, don't, I don't like this dynamic. We have this. This dynamic. We. Have. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Well. Look. Here's the situation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kid. All right. Did you want to read the story today? Go to sleep now. I play the train. Whatever you want, you want to play, play with the train. Look at that. And have fun. There it is. There it is. Trains are fun. Like that? All right. I feel like this sheep, uh, is, um, what you're after. Find the storybook and sit down. Okay, prince and the sheep. All right. If I'm going to be spooked, I'm going to do it on my terms, motherfucker. The prince and the sheep. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> It was cold throughout the palace. The moon shone bright outside. The wind, it blew and blew. Oh no! The curtains flew open wide. The little prince was in his bed and couldn't get to sleep. So he called out for his mother, Please go and find my sheep. I'm thirsty, said the prince. So the sheep fetched a drink. I'm dirty said the prince, so the sheep changed his clothes. I am tired, said the prince. Let me count you. One, two, three. Just one more thing, said the prince. Before I drift to sleep, he opened up his big red eyes and turned to face the sheep. Come join me in my dreams. Stay forever in my head. Obediently, the sheep stepped forth. Its mind consumed by dread. I shouldn't have given him the big head mode, dude! I shouldn't have given him the big head mode! Shrink his head, no! Shrink his head! No! Good night. Good night. Follow the white rabbit to escape from the baby. What does that mean? So there's more. So I go back to night three and this time I follow the rabbit? Or was that night two? Which night is it that I do here? Two.
Okay. Nah, this game, this one's awesome. Uh, people are like, the oh, plot sucks. Uh, wrong. This one's great. Uh, this is one of the best random horror games I've grabbed in a while. All right, I'm leaving. I don't feel like this is gonna get me the way I, uh, the way that I desire. But I don't. I'm not worried about the kid. Pikman's madness quickly towards the exit. The tiny rabbit hops. I, I got a, uh, I got something going on. Uh, the boys want to play Minecraft tonight. Sorry, I'm not gonna be able to babysit your kid. The boys want to play uh, Minecraft. So um, I had to turn back. You'll have to get another babysitter. I'm sorry. They want to play Minecraft real bad. Okay. What floor am I on? Five? Well, at least the uh, kid ain't here. Kid? I forgot he still had big head mode on. Well, it... Kid, look. I ain't even your babysitter anymore, man. I quit. Uh, you got another person doing that now. So how about you go back to your room? Okay. How about you go back to your goddamn room and leave me alone? For good. You broke into a Pikmin. Well, this ain't my house. But, um... Toilet still works. Alright, kid, how do you feel about being thrown into the toilet again? You gotta stop that. What does Pikmin have in his fridge? Watermelon. Actual garbage, I see. Okay, I'll just throw that in there. Anything these cabinets we can eat? Since I guess I'm still babysitting you. you piano music. Here we go. You gotta stop doing that. I don't even know. You. I know I gave you the big head. But you shouldn't be able... You shouldn't... You have a soft spot in your skull still. You should not be balancing like that. Oh, hang on. We gotta put this down. Uh, you should not be le like putting weight on your head. Your skull might deform. You might get like a you might get like a gamer dent, kid. Okay. All right. Well, record. How do you feel about smooth jazz? Would that calm you down? Do you like this? Of course you don't fucking like this. Let's try this one. Alright kid, I think we can start to come to an understanding. At this point. Not piano music, what the fuck is this? What is this, toilet paper? Musical gibberish. Where the hell is the kid? Oh, they're on the... Okay, well... Will this chill you out? I don't like the big head on this fucking piece of shit. At all. You gotta get out- You gotta get away from me. Alright, I got rid of him. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's been a pleasure, kid, but actually, I don't need the key to leave. I'll just take the dark secret pathway. Goodbye. Taking control of my own destiny. God damn it. All right. So this should be, uh... This should be one of the good ones. You know, this disc, this, this disc, you can tell, you can tell Pikmin picked out a good one here. This is a lovely, this is one of my favorite tricks. You know, I had to, I had to trick a skeleton to shoot a creeper. He doesn't fucking care. Whatever. I mean, like, <laughs> for a kid that's going to have inevitable gamer den, you might want to start learning how to get these discs.
Give me that, you stupid piece of shit. I'm not your babysitter anymore, so we don't have to be friends. I never was your friend. I never liked you. You're right where you belong now. In the garbage. The trash. You're below me. Yeah, where? Where? Fuck you. Hey, kid. Hey, kid, you want some watermelon? Want some watermelon? Want some watermelon in the trash? Yeah. That's right. Don't bother me again. He's gonna bother me again. Fucking hate this kid. I really hate this kid. I absolutely despise him. He seriously cut the power. He cut the power. He actually cut the power. Can't you just let me leave? Soon the king arrives. Okay, this is not looking good. But hey, that's the power. Let's get let's get this bad boy turned on, dude. Double A battery. Pass on that one. Four, three, blank, blank. There's a king piece here. We got some purple fuses in Lee's uh, thing. And then bomb about. Okay, four, three, one, seven is the code to this. Four, three, one, seven. I swear to God, if I open it in the baby's in there. Okay. I guess I can like throw something in it. What's up? We got a rat problem in the vents. We're gonna need a purple fuse. We got rats in the vents. Can't do it. Truly can't do it. And we're gonna need a blue fuse here. I swear to God. How many times did I teach you this lesson, you foolish child? Where the fuck are the purple fuses? It's a good thing I saved extras. Power's up. Here we go, dude. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yep. Time to go. Okay, other options. Uh, what do we do? I can't climb down this. Uh, I'm gonna throw him back down it to buy me time. Kid, let's talk. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna just avoid him. Well, this way's double locked. Keep running, help me never look back. <sighs> but I have to literally look back. <laughs> I literally have to go back. Alright. Alright. Kid started to freak me out. I know, I know he's been. All right, I'm just gonna go. T! He's teeing! Oh! I don't like that. Ah! Ah! I put the key and it didn't work! I just didn't work last time. Fuck, dude, what the fuck is it? What is this? Triangle! Wrong! See you later, bozo. Yeah, let's call the door.
easily escaped. Easily broke out of that one. Easily. Easy, easy escape. Like it was nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is starting to piss me off. Okay, the buttons don't work. The buttons don't work. I've had enough of the big head. I'll tell you that. But I will give you one B. B boy. Wait. No, I was just. Where am I? Shut up! Hey, mate. At some point, we got off on the wrong foot. Okay? Get, you freak me out, kid. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like you. And inevitably, when you are in school, you'll be bullied for your giant head and huge creepy eyes. And this behavior of yours is not making it any easier. And it's good. And you're going to be relentlessly bullied if you keep this up. You think kids care about eldritch monstrosities? No, you're going to get fucking bullied. Honestly, the only redeeming quality about you is the bee suit. The rest of you is trash. Now you got to pull your shit together. All right. Stay in the corner. <laughs> that boy ain't right. That, that boy ain't right. You gotta take care of yourself. What? Pick it up. Now. Use your mittens. All right, fine. He shit your pants. He shit his pants again. I don't think he can understand English. I think that like that talk I just gave him was nothing to him. He just he doesn't understand. God, I'm getting so. It's like not. You're getting derivative. It's derivative. We've been here. How many times are you gonna do it? Hmm. We've been here a thousand times. Same thing every day. Oh. <laughs> well, I just fed him. All right, here's your bottle again. <laughs> Good God, kid, you've got some you got like IBS, dude. Like this is actually unhealthy. Like you should not be. Yo, do you know where we keep the extra nappies? How the fuck do we keep extra nappies? I've never had to use two. Yo, where the fuck? I don't think we own extra. Okay, it's gonna be a minute. I actually don't know where we uh, keep extra nappies. Um, I've, I've honestly, I thought most babies shit once a day. I assumed they, I, I, I thought that was the whole point of the diaper is that you only need one nappy because then we just leave you in it for the rest of the day. Otherwise, it's kind of on you if you use more than one. Um, check upstairs. I know there's like, key oh, here we go. I know there's keys I should be using, but um. The nappy's actually fucking full on sealed in there. Okay, I gotta find the heart key. I know this. I know the nappy's in there. There it is. Enjoy. Oh, the trains! There's been a horrible tragedy on the tracks. All right. Well, I'm actually leaving. He doesn't know. 
already seen, already known, already lived. Right, you think I always give it my all, regardless of the size of my opponent, all right? <laughs> B costume's pissing me off. Did he just shit his pants again? No, his pants are fine. He's fine. All right, fine. If you're in, come on. Ha! Get some distance on him. Stop! Ah! Oh! Oh! Just broke my fucking, broke my nose. Your skull's pretty hard for a baby. To be honest. Wait a minute. Hold up. Oh, I thought I could get him to constantly be machine gunning out of certain doors. All right, kid. Here you go. Get to sleep. Oh, we unlocked hats! Hang on, shut up. Uh, first of all, gotta turn off the bee costume. From now on, kid, you're a little pirate. Nah, that looks weird. From now on, kid... No, nah, that's memes. Uh, from now on, kid... No. 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 There it is. There it is. There it is. You have a good day. <laughs> no, you, you look just like your dad like this. It's actually kind of unsettling. You think you don't actually have parents. <laughs> look exactly like your dad. The guy who hired me. Uncanny, even. Alright, well. Look, how many times can you pull- Eventually, you'll get sleepy. Alright, I can do this all day. You know how much coffee I drink? Bada bing. Motherfucker! Oh! See you later, kid. Oh, he's getting mad. Oh! Hey. Stop that. Oh, fucking... Stop it now! I open the door! Alright. 
that was a nice try, all right? That, that was a nice try, 24, all right? That was a solid try, but it's gonna take more than that. Baby with the TV on his head. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, he's getting angry. Ah, uh, look, ah, uh, look, he's getting, he's getting angry. Little baby, little baby gonna cry. Buzz, buzz, little baby gonna... Baby? Wee! 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 Oh, he's getting pretty long. What the hell was that? Hey, time. What's up, boys? <laughs> You've shown me your true form, and that was your greatest mistake of all. I hereby send you to the abyss. Goodbye. It's as simple as that, baby. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I had an inkling of a suspicion that he was evil from the very start, but I had to be sure. Doctor. I mean, I saw this. I was just checking to see if you could open the other doors. I swear. <laughs> I just want to see if I can open the other ones, dude. It's the exit. We really made it. I cast you into the depths, you piece of shit. I cast you into the depths. Ah! I can't believe this is a free game. It was also a game that I think was initially made in a like 48 hour like game jam and then just updated from there. A lot of very good games come out of those. Yep. Yep. Blind, that time I actually didn't fucking see it. I'm gonna be honest, that time I didn't see the goddamn thing. That, that, all right. I thought I just had to like run faster and the fucking wall would open. I did not see that one. The first time was a bit, I did see it. That time I actually didn't. Damn, that's embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Don't leave. Make me. Make me. All right, and you know what? I'm taking this duck with me because he doesn't deserve this. We're leaving. We're good. You want him? He's down there! <laughs> I assumed he was after the duck. <laughs> this train's mine. I, I like trains. Activate big head. Okay, that didn't change anything. It just made him happier. All right, turn back off big head mode. <laughs> it's the biggest out of all! The trains! Ah! Uh. Run, little rabbit, you're not the only one. There will always be more. Wow, that was awesome. I'll play the, uh, 
expansion that looks like is coming out at some point this year, whenever it's done. 2022, th what? that's today. Chat, that's today. <laughs> that's like right now. Yeah, no, that was fucking it for a free game that I downloaded. That was, uh, that slapped hard. That was really good. That, was, that one was really good. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. You guys want to, uh, how you guys feel about, uh, going to a virtual open house and just kind of like taking a look at, taking a look at the housing market, you know, it's, I think there's a, there's an argument to be made that the housing market recently has been pretty bad. Um, so I thought maybe we could swing on by and check out the housing market, see what stuff's like right now. Virtual open house. I'm going to have to change the game name real quick. Give me a second. Give me one little second. Very important. Because this game is called The Open House. I'm not going to explain anything about this game. At all. Virtual Open House. 15615 Hollow Oak Lane. Click to begin. Hello there. My name is Agent Name, and I'm one of your local North Tree real estate agents for the client neighborhood area. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you for being part of our alpha testing program. We're excited about our partnership with Optics Dynamics Labs to help bring you the latest in cutting edge real estate technology through nano drones, photogrammetry, and industry leading industry machine learning. Chat, we are on the cutting edge of real estate using nano drones. We will sell houses and we will buy houses. So help me God. But what does that all mean? Well, client name. I'm glad you asked. For the first time ever, we've made the home buying process more convenient by bringing the full open house experience to the comfort of your personal digital devices. It's home buying revolutionized for the 21st century. Home buying revolutionized for the, for the 21st century? They got nano drones. And he knows my name. Through a combination of camera drones and thousands of still images, we can now scan and recreate a fully explorable three-dimensional snapshot of any home. For a seller, that means no more dealing with the inconvenience of multiple showings. For a buyer, you can now browse our entire portfolio while sitting on your couch. We're excited to show you a perfect home in your client neighborhood area. It's a fresh listing from one of our newer developments. But before we can get into all that fun stuff, <laughs> we'll need to go over some basics of how this all works. Don't worry, it won't take long, I promise. No fucking way, dude. Okay, these are just controls. I, un I get it. Now I think we're ready to get started. I highly suggest that you wear headphones to get the full open virtual house experience. Please keep all hands and feet inside the ride at all times and remember to have fun. And do let us know if there's anything we can do to improve your experience because here at North Tree Real Estate, you, client name, are our highest priority. He's talking to us! Well, uh, Chad, here we are. So I'm in, the, I'm in the business for a gamer house. I, I, I'd be honest, I'm in the business for a gamer house. I'm looking for a streamer house to, uh, get, like, uh, I want a place for me to bring multiple obnoxious streamers so that we can really piss off pretty much everyone in a thousand yard radius from the building. So I'm looking for the gamer house, ideally. 
and so far this is looking pretty nice. We've got hallways, we have doors, we have a bathroom, and inside the bathroom we have a mirror. Can I get some information? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. This guest bathroom has been recently updated with the new fixtures and plumbing, so you can rest assured that your guests have the latest in modern convenience. Guys, this bathroom has everything we need. It's got a, it's got lights. It has a fucking it has soap. It has a a switch, and it's got a mirror, and it has a. Can I ask about uh, this house for a minute? Before we, uh, before we go any further. So we are looking at a, uh, this is on 15615 Hollow Oak Lane. Uh, it's a three bedroom, 2.5 bathroom, 2300 square foot, 384,000 house. A beautiful three bedroom, 2.5 uh, bathroom, multi-level home located in new suburban development. Features include an all brick fireplace, hardwood floors, central air, and nearby shopping attractions. It was built in 2019, so the odds of this being blood are very low. Uh, this this place is very likely not haunted. That, that you'd have to be a you'd have to be killing fast. So, uh, can I get any information on this? He has nothing to say. Oh, oh, okay. That was weird, but uh, you know the rest of the house is looking really nice, and I think we can all agree on that. Look at the quality of this fucking door, chat. Look at the quality of this goddamn door. You don't get doors like this. That's hard. That's that's solid oak. Okay, and they clean the blood fast. You know, you gotta give them some credit on that. They're cleaning this place fast. Uh, let's see here. Outside, we have the void. With modern appliances and tons of space, you'll never have to worry about having too many cooks in your kitchen. Word, man. Word. So outside we have the void and a shovel. But does does a shovel come with the house? Uh, the rest of the kitchen's looking great though. I'll give it that much. Let's take a look at the garage. Bro, this is honestly a lot of the time what people are really paying for when it comes to a house sometimes. One of the most important things in a house is the garage in some cases. Because a lot of people, especially once you're in the uh, upper middle class and you're looking at houses like this, you typically have a car or a family that needs multiple means of transportation. So having those two garages, multiple, more, no fridge, which is just say no fridge. Hang on, no, the place had a, I'm more upset about the fridge right now. Hang on, there's a fridge. It's right there, you fool. You complete fool? Are you a fool? You're a fool. You're a fool. Back to the garage. So lots of storage space in here in the garage. And we got countertop so the boys can do some crafting. So the boys can do some crafting. After a long day of streaming, the, the streamers can go down and get some crafting done. Easy peasy. So what's this about? Yeah, let me ask, ask for details first. The two-car garage has plenty of room for storage, or could be converted into that perfect personal space you've always wanted. Dude, that's what I'm fucking talking about. That's what I'm fucking talking about. I want to ask you about the blood-covered saw. Oh. Okay. It's a, it's a saw. Do we get it for free? Does it come with the house? It's cleaned up. I'm guessing that comes with the house. Well, uh, we got more rooms to check, chat. I think we all know. I I don't know <laughs> what you guys are thinking, but I'm thinking I kind of like this place. Let's take a look at the let's take a look at the dining room. I climb on the table. I stumble onto the table and I ask for information. This dining room is the perfect entertaining space with clear sight lines to the backyard and living room as well as easy access to the kitchen. Dude, lots of people are looking for those sight lines uh, to the front yard and backyard so they always know if there's a murderer trying to break in. Honestly, but a lot of the time I, I'm looking for that kind of stuff. Yeah, why'd someone say that reflection? What's wrong? Chat, that's just some, that's a, that's the remnants of the nano drone scans, okay? That was just someone that was watching the nano drone work. We're not here in real time, chat, when I'm actually flying around in a fucking nano drone. Come on. 
Like fucking gu- get get your head out of the gutter, all right? Cause you gotta you gotta pay attention. We're not we're not actually here. Okay, this isn't real. The cozy living room receives tons of natural light during the day, and the brick fireplace adds to the perfect touch of warmth for the cold winter months. And that's the kind of stuff we're looking for. I need a place so where I can very, very carefully place my large box of fireworks I'm planning on using for my next 4th of July stream. And right here is pretty much prime territory. There's a lot of counter space on this fireplace. And I want to make sure no one steals it. So keeping it really close to the TV is a good idea. Those are explosives. Let's keep them somewhere I can see them. We need sight lines on them at all times, like from the uh, from the dining room while I'm eating. I'll always be able to see the fireworks. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but from the first floor, I'm pretty into this. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot more to it than that. And uh, I think we better take a look upstairs. You know, I think the upstairs is really going to be... That's going to be what tells us the most about the house. Can I get something about the stairwell? There's nothing to talk about with the stairwell. Of course there's nothing to fucking talk about with the stairwell. There's nothing. It's a stairwell. But take a look at this, though. Take a look at... The guy's been pretty quiet lately, actually, but um, we'll take a look at all the bedrooms. We'll start at the end. Okay. My guy? There's claw. There's a. It looks like a bear or something clawed the um the wall here. Okay, we got it. We got the nano drones. Took care of it. We got. We have a bunk bed here for two streamers, or one streamer, I guess in this case, because it's one of those fucking bunk beds that has a desk underneath it. Those are the worst ones. To uh, you know, have a. Does that say bye? Ah, oh, that's some funny, like, uh, so, subliminal messaging right there. That's how you get the, uh, that's how you really get people to buy it. You put subliminal messaging. That says buy on the fucking, on the, uh, the tree. I get some information about this. This end hall bedroom is large enough for two small children. Or that moody teenager who enjoys their privacy and loud music. Word, man. Word. That's what I want to hear. I right? As someone who used to be a moody teenager, I get that. Now let's talk about the laundry room. A second floor laundry room means no more hauling every loads of clothes up and down the stairs. Talk about a real time saver. Bro, honestly, huge fucking selling point, dude. Huge selling point for me, man. Truly. Truly. This is really... Nano drones, nano drones, you gotta get nano drones. There's someone in the house with you, nano drones. Nano drones, there's someone in the house. Okay, man. Let's check out the bathroom. Look at this full bathroom. Another completely redone and modern full bathroom means never having to fight over who gets to use the shower first. Awesome. Awesome. I fucking love that. I, I hate you having to wait around for someone else to use the goddamn bathroom. And now I don't have to. Think about that kind of convenience, Jen. Take a look in here. The void? Uh, we know this. Let's check what the guy has to say. This second floor bedroom is perfect for small children or his home office. For when you really need to get work done. Almost every day of my life, I'm looking for a new second home office. All right? Almost every day of my goddamn life. So what is this over here, though? Don't look at it. We have nothing to say about this. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Got one more room to check. Ah, oh, the master fucking bedroom, dude. Here we go. A massive walk-in closet and ensuite bathroom. Make this 500 square foot master bedroom your sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Look at this fucking room, chat. This is exactly what we've been looking for for the streamer zone. 
gonna tear down all we're gonna tear down all this and turn it into five consecutive desks all way too close to each other with zero soundproofing between them in any way shape or form and no acoustic paneling on the walls sort of in this echo chamber where all the streamers can do their thing while still being picked up on each other's microphones that's exactly the kind of thing i'm going for here we want we want constant audio recycling in a circle and we can do that in a 500 square foot room imagine the amount of desks we can fit and then people can still cooperatively shower whenever they want marble counters and tiling add a sense of luxury that helps you unwind and relax after a long day every day of my damn life my guy every day of my damn life i mean i'm ready to buy I'm ready to buy right now. I think. Yeah, I don't know about all you, but I think I've seen all I need to see. That was it. Man, someone left like their blood-covered hair all over the ground or something. I don't know. What... Bro, don't look at. Don't look at what? what? The fuck is that? What? Huh? What? Wait, I don't. What? Man? Is this going to impact my ability to put a down payment on this place and organize a mortgage? Dude? Bro? Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to... Uh, the current scan has encountered... Okay, I've got a, some kind of corruption. I'm just gonna... Get it? Uh, oh boy, the nano drones. Chat the nano drones. The nano drones have had a. Uh, there's a tech problem. Um, this happens all the time with nano drones. They've got a shelf life of a couple of minutes before the nano machines go out of control and do something awful. Man, I really do still want to buy this place. All this can we can buff this out. We can buff this out, and honestly. I was kind of accounting on people dying in the streamer house. That's just that's just what we do. You know what I mean? So, the, the, the this is not important to me. This doesn't. I I will still pay full value for this place. I was banking on this, dude. Dude. You know, I was expecting the guy. I wasn't expecting the the goblin, the El, El, El Goblino. Was not expecting El Goblino. When I. <laughs> Use arrow keys to repair. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. Please rescan second floor. Oh, we're in the drone. We're droning. Yeah, we're kind of droning right now. We gotta rescan the second floor before we can show this place to anyone anyway. So let's just go uh, rescan the second floor real quick. I feel safer like this, yeah. All right, let's get a scan right here. All right, there we go. Let's get a scan over here by the huge claw. And let's get a scan in the bunk bedroom. Okay, that room's done. Next up, we've got the uh, bathroom. And done. All right, next up, we got the... Everyone knows about the wash and dryer room. But first, we'll get the home office done. Scan complete on that one. And the washer dryer room's got to get scanned as well. There we go. There it is. Now he's got one last room to do, right? Saving and compiling. Error, inconsistent scan dimensions. I've been wiggling around the monitor a lot. That might be something. 
please rescan master bedroom. I was planning on it, to be honest. I thought that would happen. Matter of fact, I knew that would happen. Let's get in there. I'm worried I'm going to see a baby in yellow with a big head in a second. And I'm going to have to pick him up and throw him. Welcome home. Okay. I'd still buy this place. Honestly, honestly, at the end of the day, watching this footage over my guy, real estate agent, this is just extra unaccounted for square footage. And, uh, and that actually adds to the value. Imagine the kind of like, we could market this as some kind of haunted house kind of thing. Uh, that's actually a lot, of, there's a lot of money in that. Do the paintings come for, uh, come free with it? The paintings come with it? Come with the place? The only thing I can really think of is that it'd be hard to get, like, internet down here. Uh, it'd be hard to wire internet down this hall. Uh, but, I mean, that's what extension cords are for, you know, my guy. You actually have an infinite uh, room here. Wow, that's something. I want my home non-Euclidean. <laughs> can you get part of my house in non-Euclidean? Can you really fuck it up? They screw this one up bad. I want at least part of my house totally liminal. I'm getting a little turned around. Hello? Ah! There you are. Yeah, I'm here to buy. I'm... I'm here to buy. I want to buy. And I won't take no for an answer. He's playing hard to get. Like, look at the amount of space we have here, chat. I'm thinking... I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking like bro cave, you know what I mean? I'm thinking a cave, like a kind of a, a lounge for the bros, dude. I'm thinking a lounge, for, we could get a home theater in here. We got a long, long line. We got a waterfall. We can get a water slide. Get a water slide down here. System spawn it character. What does that mean? It character? That was an eighth character. Is that someone trying to buy this place? Did I get turned around? I got turned around. I actually got turned around. The clock goes, the timer's going down when I go this way. We want to go this way. We're going this way. Stuff's getting a little more staticky when I go this way, too. Someone else is running to buy this place. Well, they're going to have to beat me to it, motherfucker. All right. I had first dibs. I had first dibs and I have streamer money. All right. System UI element missing. There you are, sir. Like, look at the size of this fucking place. You know how much I could do with this? I could do so much with this. Press tab to change cameras. We even have a meat room. We, I was worried I would have to pay someone to do this for me. Believe it or not, most streamers have meat rooms. It's where we keep all of our spaghetti. It's where we keep all of our spaghetti and ground beef. Anything that looks a little bit noodly, we put it in there. Worms, all of it. Put it all in there. Now, uh, I'm kind of interested in just buying. I, like, I, I've actually been, I'm getting oversold now. Like, I'm, I've been sold on it for a while, and now I feel like um, I'm getting kind of bored of it. Um, so I'm going to make an offer now. I'll pay you, let's say, $5,000, because at least 18 people died in this place, and you're never going to sell it. So I'll pay you $5,000. Cash, all right? I don't want this on the records. I think 5k is fair. That one was also really good. Okay, the next one's gonna be the cursed one of the night. 
The next one's going to be the cursed one, chat. There's always got to be one, baby. There's always got to be one, baby. This one's called... Does it exist? No. All right, we're going to label the stream as spooky now, since that's usually what I do when I'm doing horror stuff, because we run out of game names. This game is called Chimpy Chippa's uh, The Game. It's about a monkey, and it's also one that coincidentally opens VR. There's always one a night. Monkey. There's a monkey in the building! There's a monkey in the building! Alright. New game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, viewer. Hi. I downloaded this video that was recently leaked on the web by an anonymous user. Okay. It's a little bright, asshole. Watch. Okay. Oh. Chimpy. Okay, lads, let's take this from the top. <clears throat> you want to know what's driving everyone bananas? Yes, well, yes! Come on down to Chimpy Chippers. Enjoy our wide range of Is that monkey smiling with its teeth? Coming back for more. That's not good. Oh! Oh! I don't like that at all. It's smiling with his goddamn teeth. Give me another go from the top. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't like the chimp. All right. Give me one more from the top. Yeah, it's really. Do you want to know what's driving everyone for not? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm so hungry. Trapped in here for so long. Starving. I see you sitting there. I'm hungry. The group. Yo, they got the chimpy cheeseburger. Because Chipper, the chimp is waiting for you. Do not like that monkey. I know you guys spend time on making this monkey thing, but has no one realized how fucking creepy it looks? It's fucking creepy as hell, man. I don't like that. So I can tell you right now, I never take my daughter. Monkey's eyes change. Well, that was a creepy commercial, but I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to close the video first, I think, and then I'm going to go to sleep. Okay, I'm going to close the video now. I, uh... Okay, I'm going to close the... Okay. All right. And there's someone breaking into my house. These are unrelated coincidences. Uh... is my mouse there we go <laughs> okay so here we have my room this is my lovely living room ghost town not seeing a gorilla in here uh let's check the next one only thing weird about this room is my free hanging door but that's like a that's a that's just something i like having in the building uh, yeah. Um, next thing. The monkey in here? No. Yeah, we're clear. No, uh, nothing in here. Unless it's beneath the camera. That's where I'd hide. If I was a monkey. Okay, we're good. Okay, it's getting dark. Uh, nothing in here, but I'm gonna check. The far side. Okay, this place is, uh... I'm gonna check beneath me. Gotta make sure there's nothing underneath the camera. Okay. Here we have a, uh, bathroom. Definitely nothing in here. I don't think there's space for a, a gorilla in here. What about here? Okay, this seems to be... Yep, looking good. Looking good. Okay. And right here. 
Okay, we're in basement. Don't know where the motion was, but I'm not seeing anything in any of these. Yup, front, front yard's fine. To my knowledge, I'm gonna check wider. Yup, must have been a false alarm. That was a monkey. There was a, there was a, we need to call the police right now. There was a monkey outside. There was a monkey outside, I saw a monkey. I actually saw a big monkey. I saw its teeth. Shippy? Shippy? Oh my god. He's probably somewhere outside. Shimpy? Shimpy? Enhance. Night vision activate. So yeah. Let me check my let me check my my are my kids alive? Are they okay? They're all locked in their rooms. I I really hate this family uh, this family just automatically locks every door in our house. And the power is out. I'll just sleep through this while the gorilla eats me alive. That's fine. Like some kind of trust issue thing here. Okay. No chimpy. Okay. Let me just check the basement because that's where the breaker is. Um. Oh, fuck that before I turn on the power. I'm just gonna see if there's a monkey outside. I have night vision. He wouldn't, no matter, monkeys cannot see in the dark very well. So I'm gonna check the perimeter first. What is that? Oh, it's a radio. Okay, good news is, chat. Not seeing anyone out here. I think we're okay. For now. I'm surprised the radio has lights on. I guess it's probably battery powered. I'm gonna check the rest of the house. I'm not seeing a gorilla, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not seeing a gorilla, but the gorilla, a monkey could easily climb into a blind spot. That's kind of one of their things. They're wily, slippery little bit. Wouldn't put it past Chimpy if he were real to sneak into a blind spot. Let's go hit the power. Let's go get the power on. What if he's a spider monkey? Oh god. Oh my god. Let's just get the power on. All right. There we go. Power's on. Hungry monkey. Oh no. Hung hungry monkey. <gasps> Slash me hides from my wife. <gasps> oh, that is the monkey. That's the monkey. Monkey could break us in half, chat. The worst part is he's stuck with a permanent smile on his on his face. His teeth. Escape through the front door. Well that sounds easy. Yeah, just go to the front door. Is this the front door? I don't know which door is the front door. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It was this one. Someone parked a, a building directly in front of my uh, front door. And it seems I've been brought, pulled into the chimpy realm. Am I... I have extreme motion blur in this place. 
Chimpy? Chimp. I'm getting. My character's getting nauseous. He's getting sleepy. We'll just leave. What? Guys? Guys? It's not funny. Guys? <laughs> Who turned off the lights? <sighs> <sighs> We are in the chimp zone now. We are in the chimp zone. We're in chimpy chippers round. This place is very glowy. There's a lot of glow in this place, which I... I think there was a monkey in that room. I think I saw the monkey close the door. Well, let's get the fuck out of here. Ah. Her space is ours. She's watching you. We are all watching you. Not anymore. Okay, I thought I could... God. We're in Jack's realm now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I gotta get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Let's see here. How would I tell what the code is? How do I get the... Oh, hang on. Hold up here. 1983 Miranda and Sylvester wedding day. So it's either... It's either 1983 or it's 9... 4... 83. I'm gonna go with 9483 first. Because 1983 seems too obvious. I have to use the arrow keys for this part exclusively. 9, 4, 8, 3. <laughs> okay. Fuck you, dude! Fuck you! Fuck you! Just get me out of here. Ellie's dead. Goddamn eyeballs. You see, the thing is... Significant lack of monkey right now. They hunger for a space to feed. Some. Was that a fucking monkey or was that a tall person? I don't care. This way. That's not a monkey, that's just a guy. Yo, I thought I downloaded a monkey game. Ah! Ah! Jesus, he got way bigger than the last time I saw him! Chippy! Chill out, man. Just calm down. Guys? Chimpy Chippos was open for three months before the shooting in January forced the temporary closure of the restaurant. Miranda Rigby, the woman who held 29 people captive inside Chimpy Chippos restaurant in January before she proceeded to shoot herself. I was expecting the game to be like, 
Chippy Chippers was closed after they brought a real chimp into the premises and it, like, fucking actually full-on killed, like, 18 people on its own with its bare hands, surviving 18 bullets without losing a single beat. The bullets only made it angrier, <laughs> and it sped up, and it got even more furious. What am I grabbing right now? Are these just bullets? <laughs> Wait, why am I? I was very casually picking. Ah, yes, here we go. I feel bad for Chippy if he shows his face now. Because, all right, 18 bullets didn't kill him before. But 19 will kill him now. Bang! 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 Okay. Give me that. I need ammo. Reloading! 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 Bang! 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 <sighs> Shaky cam. Reloading! End of the line. Reloading! He's a gag. Sip and zip. Uh, what? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Chippy, where the fuck you at? Chippy? So are you a demon that decided that the best way to peddle your curse would be to pretend to be a monkey? Oh my god! Wait, so you guys, what made you decide on the monkey for the plan? Why not like a demon? If you're a de Strange diner appears from thin air. They really were demons that were like, guys, I got an idea to fucking gather souls. We will, <laughs> we will pretend to be monkeys. Taylor, Leeboard, missing Taylor. Oh my God. 1984. The, the monkey massacre of 84. And it fucking worked. <laughs> Spring, uh, all eyes on spring talk pictures, all right? All eyes on their next work. All eyes on what they do next in this space, dude. Because those guys, <laughs> yeah, 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 they know. I love how there's a load game button. Because someone might be like, I gotta take a step away from Jim Jimpy Chippas for a minute. I gotta take a step back from Chimpy, cause like, I cannot, I can't handle any more of this. I don't like the monkey. I don't like what he's up to. All right, chat. So I have like nine minutes before um, we're supposed to be starting Barrow Trauma, which means about 20 to 30. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch to Barrow Trauma now. Okay. I'm gonna do the tutorial because it's been super long since I've actually like played Barrow Trauma. And I wouldn't mind uh, refreshing myself properly before we get in. So, uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming I'm gonna play doctor because I'm the only one who knows. I feel like I'm the only one who knows how to play doctor or remembers at all. Who knows how much it's updated? Uh, I mean, I just gotta name the stream something now. I just gotta find something to name the stream. Uh. What do I, what do I, what's, what's, what's a thing, what's a thing you do? What's a, what's a, what's a thing? What, 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 what,
I hate naming streams, dude. We all cringe in a yellow submarine. <laughs> Barrow buddies, dude. Bro. How many people do you think this stream are going to like immediately swim out of the fucking thing? Like immediately climb out without a diving suit? Because you know what happens every time someone climbs out without a diving suit? We make it 30 minutes every game before we fucking die. Sam doesn't know how to play. He's worried he won't have fun. I mean, I'd tell him to play the tutorial for starters. Sardines in a sub. Full speed. 